Hi, welcome to episode number four of the Behind the Wheel podcast. I'm Jacob. We are back. I'm Joseph. This is Michael. Michael is our special guest this week. Uh, how you doing, Michael? I'm doing all right. Just all right. Thank you, fine gentlemen, for having me on this on this show. No problem. So, we have this week sent out Michael and Joseph. I'm currently wafting it. Wafted in. Uh, we'll get back to that later in the episode, but today we wanted to talk about conspiracy theories. Yes, and I was just asking Michael what his favorite conspiracy theory was, and he'd like to tell us. Well, funny you should ask. My favorite conspiracy theory is the Mandela Effect. The Mandela? I don't think I've ever heard of this Are one. Are you familiar? I'm, I'm very familiar. familiar. I'm not familiar, familiar with the Mandela, Mandela Effect. Well, Joseph, as a child, were you uh, by any chance fond of the show? The Berenstein Bears. Oh, yes, absolutely. Say it. The Berenstein Bears. Yeah, say it again one more time. Berenstein Bears. Now say it, say it slowly. Berenstein Bears. All right, spell it. B, oh crap, uh, B, B, A, B, A, R, E. <laughs> okay, spell the last, like, Dude. five letters. S, T, E, I, N, S, T, E, I, N, Berenstein, Berenstein. All right, so, ready for me to blow your world? Blow my world. You're Why incredibly you? wrong. It's been S T A I N. S T A I N. Baron Stein. It's, it's Baron Stain. Baron Stain bears. bears. Yep. Stain. What does that have to do with Mandela? <laughs> Listen to this. Half the people in the world distinctly remember it being Stein. Uh, Stein. Wait, so you're you're yeah. claiming you're claiming that everyone in the world has heard of the Baron Stein bears. No. Well, of those, <laughs> of those familiar. Okay. With of it. those familiar with it. All right. So um. Like, it can't just be something that a couple of people remember wrong, because there's a massive amount of people that remember it as being E-I-N, so, but like, even you go back to the books that you, your mom read you as a kid, and it says A-I-N on them, and it's freaky. So, here's how this freak, there are an infinite amount of parallel universes and dimensions, right? Yeah, everybody does that. Yeah, everybody. So, um, they're parallel, and sometimes they maybe cross over, and there's like holes in them, and you and the you from another parallel. Uh, Wait, so there's universe. infinite me's out there. Yes, there's infinite you's, and they're all doing the exact same thing. They've all had the exact same experiences, and they've all... Uh, Wait, then what's different about They'll have the... the exact same memories, except for in each universe, there's one tiny difference. In the one that you and I were from, it was... Uh, it was EIM. We crossed over. The, uh, the AIN versions of us... <laughs> cross over into the into the EIN version where we're from. So we're not even from here. Like this is not our dimension. Once we crossed over here, we we didn't notice because all the other people around us had the exact same memories and experiences. So honestly, who knows how many times we've crossed we've over. We've crossed over because if you look it up, there's more things like this. Yeah, and like the reason it's called the Mandela Effect is because Nelson Mandela, when he was in prison... Did he read the Berenstein Bears? People thought he was dead. Oh, never mind. And a vast majority of humanity thought that Nelson Mandela was dead when he was just chilling in prison. And then he left prison and, then he and he was like, like psych? He, he left prison and, and people were like, like, wait, what? He Tupac that. But one, another really like well-known one is in Star Wars. Most people remember the quote as Luke, I am your father. Yep. From Darth Vader. Yeah, that's what I would say. It's, it's not. No. no it's father. no, I'm your father. Yep. Blue, Although I've only seen more. the movie once. Think about how many times I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it a billion times. This was brought it's... upon me by a friend last year and it blew my mind. And it's on it's like it's on t shirts and stuff. Like, yeah. I am your father. And We've that's lied to that's you. why I think that's been that spread so rapidly is because media and mm. the modern world has just shortened a paragraph quote instead of Luke we can rule the galaxy as father and son and he's like what? 
Because no, <laughs> I think that's father. yeah. I think that's a direct quote from Mark Hamill as Luke Scott. What? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> no, examples of the Mandela effect. Um, Look some up for us. Back Febreze. There. Febreze. Yeah. Hey, they should it's call us the Febreze, Febreze brothers because we're it's Febreze. There's only one e. Febreze. Yep. But there's, but there's an e, e at the, the end. end, so it's Febreze. Also, how do you come up with the name Febreze? You don't spell breeze. B R E Z E. You do there's, if you want to sound cool. There's two e's before the z, I guess. E. Yeah, Febreze. And, and for, so that's how I thought Febreze, the logo. It was spelled in the logo. No. As. Yeah, I did know there's only one e in the logo. Michael, look up some more Mandela effect for us. Are you talking about another thing that we've been lied to I mean, about? Those are the. What else have we been lied to about? The fact that the. Not the fact. The way mm. people say that the earth is round. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you know the, the weird teacher from The Fairly Odd Parents? Mr. Mm. Cronker? Crocker, yeah. Crocker? He was originally drawn with his ear, like on his neck. Hey, Brian's at Kinsley's house. Brian's at Kinsley's house. Hey, Brian and Kinsley. Hey, Brian. Yeah, he was drawn with his ear on his neck. Yeah, well... His ear on his neck? Yeah. If you look it up now, the ear is not on his neck anymore. And that one stood out because it was like, everyone was like, why is his ear on his neck? <laughs> it's like a that, bunch of like hilarious memes about it's it. It's like that picture of uh, Arthur or whatever. He's got his headphones on oh, the side yeah. of his head, but his ears are up here. Yeah. <laughs> Silly Arthur. What, um... I had another good one that was kind of like that. Oh. oh so, in the show Seinfeld. Great show. One of the characters, Kramer, was not always named Kramer. They refer like to in him, the show? They ref, in the show, he, they refer to him as another name in the first episode. His name changed after the first episode. Hey, they realized it was, he was more of a Kramer. How's that a Mandela effect? Chivalry is dead. I just, it's not necessarily Mandela effect, I just think it's interesting that in the first episode he was called Kessler, yeah, and not Kramer. I, I understand why they changed it. Yeah, I mean, I can too, Kramer's better. He's way better. But maybe we would say the same thing about Kessler if they never changed it. That's true, what if they called him Kramer in the first episode and then started calling him Kessler? Like, that guy literally what? looked at me. Kramer. He just stared at us. Let's get in a car fight. Let's I just think that's find, called an accident. Let's find another car <laughs> that has three Which people in it. We talked about my insurance rate would skyrocket. True. No, we. Can, I'm not talking car wreck. I'm saying we find a car similar in shape to ours with people in it, similar to our shape. And just charge them. We just fight. Three young men. Three young masculine men, and we just challenge them to a duel with our bare hands. At this time, we would like to thank our sponsor, uh, Anova Coffee. Shout out to those guys over there. They're set up at 4700 Colonnade Apartments. But thank you to Anova Coffee. Go check them out. Look them up. So am I getting paid for this? Link to their you website will be in the description. Uh, so check them out. Joseph, you know what time it is. Not really. <sighs> Guess that scent! Bow! We're guessing it. Okay. Michael and Joseph, you have had time to say. smell. And in fact, you know what? I'm going to pull over and we're going to do what you did to me last okay, week. Okay, good. Because I, the initial pungence that I smelled, it's kind of worn off. And I, I had a good idea when it first started, but now I'm just, I'm, I'm have lost. Have you had like a week to smell this? Yeah. No. I've been smelling it all week. Today. Just today, It's just Michael, been today, Michael. Since we got in the car. It smells really good. It does smell good. The last car scent we had, no lie, was not a good smelling scent. I fumbled on that one. It's pretty gross. Okay, guys. All right. It's time to guess that scent. Both I'll of you close, close your eyes. eyes. Eyes are closed. What if someone just came up and robbed you? Showing the, car the right scent. Oh, wow. Eucalyptus. Pungent. Oh my. Oh my. That's strong. Hang on. Hang on. Don't rub it on my nose, please. All right, all right, Give it all right. Michael, hand it to Michael. All right, Michael, we're gonna say our guess oh. on the count of three. You ready? No, no, I'm not ready. All right, <laughs> here, here, Joseph. If you want to keep smelling this one, you can. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Time is up. All right, Michael. Three, two, one. Winter Toothpaste. green mint. Wow. I guess that's kind of the. Can we open our eyes now? Yeah. 
Um, you were both wrong. Oh, where where'd they go? They're down here. The I'm answer so was eucalyptus. Ah, oh, wow, see, I was, knew it smelled like a koala bear, but yeah, I thought that was like my second guess. That was, that thanks for watching episode number four. four. Thank you to Michael for joining us today. Thank you, Michael. Um, Always a pleasure. Check out our Instagram. Link to that in the bio description, description below. Uh, we're posting updates on that regularly. Maybe an occasional Instagram live. Uh, bye! I'm gonna go get a slushy. Did you see that sassy move I just pulled? <laughs>